All right, so today is Foundation Friday. We're reviewing another new foundation launch. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm a little worried for this next 15 days of foundation series because there's been so many new foundation launches that I feel like by the time that comes around, it's going to be like a foundation drought but we will cross that river when we get there. So if you're new here, I do Foundation Friday videos every single Friday on my channel. I've reviewed tons of new foundation launches, so I'll link my Foundation Friday playlist down below. But this is a new drugstore foundation you can get on Ulta. It retails for $12. You don't get a full fluid ounce. You get 0.7, so a little bit less than standard. It comes in 16 shades, so not a great shade range. Hopefully they would expand the shade range if this foundation does well. I'm gonna swatch the shades F2 and F3 for you guys. Those were the two that were sent to me. I don't have the lightest shades of this one, but it does come in a couple lighter shades, F0.2 and F1. It says this suits every skin type and tone. Don't know about that. But it says it's particularly beneficial for dry skin, which I do have. With hyaluronic acid, it offers all day long radiance and glow without settling into fine lines or clinging to dry patches. Sign me up. Medium to full coverage, and that's all of the claims. So I'm going to start swatches right here so we can see what the shades F2 and F3, how they compare to other shades that I have that I use. All right, swatches, we're actually going the other way than usual today because I was filming other swatches for a video. But right here is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in the shade F2. Next over is the same foundation in F3, which is interesting. Doesn't it look lighter? And it also looks a little bit more pink. So I don't know why F3 is lighter than F2. I didn't do these swatches before I filmed, so you'll see what shade I used, but... Here are F2 and F3. Next over, this is Dermacol 208, one of my closest shade matches. L'Oreal Freshwear in 410. I was filming the Benefit swatches right before this that I reviewed last week, I think it was. So right here is the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in one, and then right here is the new Brightening Benefit Foundation, also in one. Just a reminder, if you are also excited about fall and you missed on social media, I did launch a shirt design. I'm gonna pop it in right here. It says thrives in fall, super soft, comes in plus size. It's only gonna be a limited edition, so once they sell out, they're gone, but I will leave the link down below. If you're excited for Foundation Friday, you can give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Okay, it is 8.41 in the morning. I thought I could do this with only half a cup of coffee, but I might need to go get another cup and put this on pause. I think that needs to happen. Okay, success. Now we can move on with life. So I haven't done swatches yet, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna start out with the lightest one I have, F2. Okay, so you get a pump. For some reason I thought it was gonna be the same application with like the giant doe foot as their other foundation, which I do have a review on. Got a new piercing the other day. This guy is way too big. I got this off Etsy, but I think I need to downsize and no, it's gonna be that big. Then I also got a new one for right here, which you guys can't really see. My ears are just permanently red, so we can ignore that. Okay, so this is supposed to be medium to full coverage, hydrating. Wow, it actually looks very liquidy. Yeah, it's just really liquidy. So it has like a thin kind of consistency. I'm gonna start off with the brush on the side of my face. I wonder how many times I said that. Probably like five million at this point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that was good coverage. Very smooth, a little bit is going a super long way. What the heck, I might need to blend this across, yeah. I'm just gonna blend across my forehead since I got a lot of product. Okay, this is full coverage. For some reason, just with the description, like I thought it was gonna be closer to the medium side. Wow, this is looking really pretty so far. It's blending out super easily. Feels very moisturizing and that coverage, yeah, wow. A little bit goes a long way. Like I could keep spreading this and cover right here too probably, but I do wanna try the sponge on one part of my face. Looks beautiful with a brush. It looks like a dewy finish. Love how thin it was, but it's still covered. So let's do a sponge on the other side. I tend to get less coverage with a sponge, but the way I like to apply foundation normally, like if I'm not doing a review, is usually going in with my Sigma F80, that brush I just used, and then I'll just smooth it out with a sponge afterwards, usually a dry sponge and just like press the product into my skin. And that's how I get the best coverage and the smoothest finish. It's looking beautiful with both sponge and brush. Like what the heck? I think I got a little bit less coverage. I can see a tiny bit of scarring still coming through there, but I think you could go either way with this one probably. Just building it up a little bit right there. I'm gonna take the sponge and just go over my forehead. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just pressing this in. Oh, you guys, this looks, really nice. So shade is dark. It's probably a shade too dark, 
The undertone is right though. It looks like, I wouldn't say this is really a pink undertone. To me, it looks more like a neutral undertone. The description says it's pink. I think if I had this undertone just in like half a shade lighter, it would be perfect. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize. I think it's, it's fine since the undertone is okay. But if I like this foundation, I'll probably end up ordering a shade lighter. You guys, it looks beautiful. I love that I only had to do one layer to get full coverage. It feels lightweight. It feels very moisturizing and comfortable on the skin is one of those foundations that just like feels good. Like I like how it feels on my skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing like a heavy uncomfortable foundation or anything and it looks super smooth even around my pores. Like for being a dewy foundation it's not totally emphasizing them so if I used a pore filling primer with this it'd probably look magical. My forehead looks great. It just looks nice and plump almost. Definitely has a dewy finish. We'll see if it kind of dries down at all. Like usual I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if it sets down at all and see if I don't need to powder but right now it's feeling like I definitely would need to set right here if I want to blend stuff on top. So right now it is 8.50. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, it's now 9.20. The check-in time is 9 o'clock since that's when I finish up with my face. You do need to set this one. I didn't set my forehead because I have dry skin. If I don't have to set my forehead, I don't. But I did set right here just so I could blend stuff on top. It looks beautiful. This is one of those foundations that just right now at least looks very plump and healthy. And it looks like skin, but it has great coverage. I literally have no complaints. It's not like creasing badly around my mouth yet. Looks great on my forehead. I think overall it looks good. I do think the undertone has weirdly changed. It hasn't really like oxidized. It's just almost turned more pink. Where we're at right now, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna do a shot in natural lighting in a second and we'll do a flash test. But the makeup on the rest of my face, I always link down below, by the way if you ever were wondering. But for bronzer, I use the NARS Casino bronzer. For blush, I used ColourPop Frisky Business, one of my favorite peachy blushes. Recently did a makeup I forgot about video and I used the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is so pretty. I've been reaching for this a ton since that video. And this is in the shade 10 Be My Highlight. I filmed that like weeks ago, like over a month ago now. So I've been using this for a while now and it is so beautiful if I just want like a natural glow. For eyes, I use this Milani palette. This is one of their new ones. It's in the shade Dark Dimensions. I think this is called Dark Dimensions. Here's what it looks like. I just went in with obviously the neutral, neutrally shades. I don't know if they make this anymore. I feel like for some reason these were discontinued, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll link it down below if it still exists, but this is Hourglass Futurist lipstick and it's such a pretty neutral shade. I totally forgot about this. I just like found it in my collection the other day. So pretty. So that's where we're at right now. Let's go see what this looks like in natural lighting. Okay, so I'm in natural lighting in front of the window, and it definitely looks, like, very glowy. I do have on my La Roche-Posay underneath, which does come through sometimes, especially if the foundation's, like, already dewy looking. It can be a little bit overkill. So I do think with this one, I would use a different moisturizer underneath, probably, just because I'm looking very dewy, or I would, like, have to powder parts of my face. By the way, I'm on my new Sony vlog camera, and watch, watch this autofocus, okay? Oh my god, immediately in focus. It is literally life-changing. Here's up close. Let me look back in the mirror. I definitely look a bit orange. It looks really good. Like, even though I'm looking very glowy, just looking at the finish of it and how it's sitting on my skin, it looks so smooth. I would need to, like, powder a little bit around my pore area. I'm almost looking, like, greasy, so maybe we'll just do that. Should we do that? Because I wouldn't wear it like this. I think we're gonna do that. Let me grab some powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a touch of the Milk Makeup Blur Powder. The dewiness right here isn't looking as bad, but definitely a little bit right here. Okay, yeah, that's looking a little better. I'm gonna add a little bit to my chin too. I don't mind the level of glow on my forehead. Hopefully it doesn't start looking oily throughout the day, but I like how it looks more like matte-ish around my nose now. <laughs> yeah, much better. Isn't that crazy the difference that it makes just setting around your nose? So let's do a flash test. Ooh, okay. This one definitely has flashback considering that it's actually dark in real life. On camera, it definitely looks a couple shades lighter than my neck. So this one I wouldn't wear in flash photography, but so far even with the powder on, like it went over smoothly. I think it looks really beautiful. I'm excited to see how this one wears throughout the day. Fingers crossed. But I'll see you guys in a few hours back in natural lighting for the next check-in. Okay, so it's been on for six and a half hours now. It's now 3.30. I was very sidetracked during the last when my alarm went off for the five hour check-in. Six and a half hours, so it's definitely oxidized. Looks quite dark, so I wouldn't be able to wear the shade. Definitely would have to get a shade down, but shade aside, 
let's take a look in the mirror. It definitely looks much more makeup-y now. I feel like I can see every little pore on my face. Okay, this camera is so good. It seems to be kind of like breaking down a little bit on both sides. And then my pores just look pretty emphasized right now. Here's my forehead. I think my forehead looks oily at this point. I would have to do something else with this one since I do look pretty greasy on my forehead. And keep in mind that I did powder around my pores and it's looking pretty oily, so if I didn't powder there, it would probably be like total greasy right now. I think I like it enough to where I want to try the lighter shade just to see because I do love how thin it is. I love the coverage, how just like smooth it went on. And I feel like I can probably make this one work. So I think I will order the lightest shade. That's how we're looking right now. So I'll see you guys at the end of the night for the last check-in. All right, guys, it is now... 10 hours. It's been on for well, 10 hours. Just said that. 710. I would say it looks about the same as the last check-in. I don't think it's gotten like significantly worse or anything. Besides the shade, it does look more orange. I do look just quite oily. I think it actually has gotten a little bit oilier looking around here. And again, I did powder there. I, I feel like words are uh, not coming to my brain right now. But basically, I think if I had the right shade in this, I wouldn't hate it. You know, it is promising. If you have oily skin, I would say stay away from this one because it's clearly super dewy. I am going to order the lightest shade of this one. See how it goes. So I'll include it in an update video the next one I do and let you guys know, but I don't hate it. It feels comfortable on the skin. I feel like I can find a way to make this one work. It is affordable. I like the coverage. I like how lightweight it is. And I like how it just feels on my face. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I have a Foundation Friday playlist down below. I'm losing my breath here. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.